Rangabilly Caves is a cave system roughly 70 kilometres south of Tumut in New South Wales. In October 2017, we visited the caves on a four day trip to the area. Driving from Tumut is a scenic and easy drive. Winding around lakes and plains, you eventually pass by Talbingo. This is your last stop for fuel and supplies before you reach the caves. A steep climb up the mountain gives you the opportunity to visit the Black Perry Lookout, which is definitely worth the stop over. Back on the road, and about 15 kilometres later, you'll reach the turnoff for your Rangabilly Caves. Access to the caves is a one way dirt and gravel road, but it's suitable for all vehicles. We decided the first thing to do would be to visit the thermal pool. Fed by natural hot springs, the pool stays at a constant 27 degrees all year round. Lunch is best pre-packed, as there are limited food options available at Yorangabili. There are plenty of open grassy spaces where you can pull up a picnic rug and eat lunch with the kangaroos. There are three show caves at Urangabilly, open all year round. The South Glory Cave, a self-guided tour, is a great experience, but I would definitely wear some warmer clothes during the colder months. The path snakes its way through the main arch and into the large cave system next to a creek. We went on a very wet day, which made for spectacular scenery with the water flowing over the walls and dripping from the ceiling. With a sometimes slippery track and quite a few stairs, the walk does require a moderate fitness level. On your way through the South Glory Cave, you'll see active stalagmites and stalactites, sparkling flowstone, reflection pools and many other active features. When you exit the cave, it's only a short walk back to the car park. Another show cave is the Jersey Cave, which if you're planning on doing both guided tours, I recommend doing first. The Jersey Cave is full of active formations, which line the walls of the cave. Pools of reflective water are lit up by feature lights. The path travels through a long horizontal cave with active stalagmites two to three meters tall. At the end of the path, you're greeted by a large cathedral-like room with formations hanging from every inch of the ceiling. You used to be able to continue further for an even better view. The Jilabanan Cave is another cave that is open all year round. Walking through a tight 70 meter access tunnel, you enter a small chamber which reveals an amazing crystal rich room. Formations hang from every section of the roof, while helictites and shawls line the walls. Some interesting historical points are explained by the tour guide as you wander through at your own leisure. In the Jilabanan cave, the guides will give you a section of stalactite that you can actually hold. It gives you an idea of the density of the crystal that's being formed before you. A 
accommodation at Urangabilly is available in either the historic Caves House or in their more upmarket lodging. Alternatively, like us, you can stay in Tumut. We stayed at the Two Camels B&B in the surrounding farmland. As the name suggests, they had two pet camels in the front paddock. The Tumut River feeds the surrounding hills and makes for a beautiful green landscape. If anyone's considering visiting Tumut or Urangabilly Caves, we would both highly recommend the trip. 